as I look out here, you know, formerly as a player, now as the head coach, not to see Ernie Salvatore here. And, uh, you know, keep him in your prayers, and, and we miss him. Obviously, you guys know that we had some breaking news today. Uh, A.J. Graham was um, um, found innocent, so he will be joining us. Uh, we're excited to get that behind him, get him up here. Uh, his family's trying to get him on a plane right now, and hopefully he'll be here shortly and, um, you know, get him going. Um, moving on to the team that's here, the players that are here. It was brought up earlier. We feel like our guys had a great summer. Uh, we're excited about this year. Um, you know, it's interesting. Uh, found a stat. You know, we have the best home field advantage in college football. This is a hard place to play. We have a very good football team coming back, and we have fantastic fans. And I ask you guys to help me reach out to these folks, and let's keep the Joan uh, the hardest place in America to play college football. You know, anytime you start having players that start earning awards or start getting on award lists, you know you're doing something right. And obviously we've got a Mackey Award candidate in Cody Slate. We've got a Dope Walker Award candidate in uh, Darius Marshall. And I'm sure once the other ones start coming out, Albert McClellan will be on a few of those. So we've got some marquee players, and that's what it takes. That's what's got to happen when we have a good football team. And we've got 46 letter winners back. We're a very veteran football team. And we're excited to get this thing going. A little bit about the special teams. Very, very excited. I uh, do not mean to uh, overstate myself, but uh, we do have a lot of returning players coming back. All three of our specialists will be returning, and all of them have experience. Sean McClellan at uh, long snapping and short snapping, Case Whitehead at punting, and uh, Tyler w Warner and Craig Uh, They one, one of the two of them will handle the uh, kicking duties for us, or a combination of both. We're real excited this year. This is uh, year two for me. Uh, I've been able to uh, get a real good feel for the players, get a real good feel for the community, and uh, we're really excited about the growing and the maturity that we've done as, a, as an offensive football team. Uh, we will, again, feature a one-back, uh, no-huddle attack, uh, very multiple with our personnel packages, uh, very multiple with what we're trying to do with them. We've got some special players, as, as Coach mentioned earlier. Uh, Cody Smith is a young man that will try to do some special things with him, whether he's flexed out wide, whether he's in tight, whether they're motion, whether they're moving around with him. So uh, we, we have some unique players, some good players that uh, we'll have fun as a coaching staff uh, getting them involved doing different things in the game plan. It's an honor and a privilege, number one, to be back. I appreciate those responsible for that, particularly Mark Schneider. Uh, it's fun to coach, fellas. I've been in this thing a long time and been in different chairs and different positions and and what's fun in the chairman right now is you just have a chance to make a difference, you hope, in a segment of a team. And that right now is on our defense and hope in our linebacker room. Entering our second year, uh, it's fun being in this league because it is a challenge. It's fun going against our offense because they challenge us with a lot of different things. They prepare us for the marathon. And the season of 14 games is a marathon. That's a long season. You know, your 12 regular seasons, our championship game here held in Huntington in December, and then the uh, Liberty Bowl. That's a, that's a long stretch, and our offense will help uh, prepare us for that stretch run and, you know, that marathon. 